Hi everyone, this is Ben Dunnett from www.learnhowtoreadsheetmusic.com. In this four or five minute video today, we're going to have a look at some of the basics of how to read piano music. I'm going to take you through three questions that I often get asked by people, and they're this. Where do I start out? Secondly, what does typical piano music look like? What should I expect? And thirdly, how do I learn how to read and play piano music quickly? That third question is the question I get asked the most. People, when they're learning how to read piano, they recognise that, that being able to read music is important, but it's just a tool that they want to master quickly so that uh, you can get on to playing more and more different styles of music, playing as part of a band, whatever it is that you're wanting to try and do. So let's have a look at this first one. Where do I start? Well, let's have a look at the keyboard, the piano here. What I want you to do is um, think about middle C. I've highlighted this in, uh, in red here. Now, middle C is the C note that is closest to the middle of the piano. If you're totally new to the piano, the way to find C um, is have a look at the black notes, and you'll see that they're aligned in two notes, three notes, two notes, three notes, two notes, three notes, all the way up the piano. To find a C, find two black notes together and come just off to the left of one of them, and you'll find the C. Middle C is that C which is closest to the middle of a piano or a keyboard. Now, the reason I want you to find middle C is because of the following. Everything above middle C for the moment, you are going to play with your right hand. Okay, And when it's written down on piano music, this is going to be written on the treble clef. Here we've got a treble clef um, written at the beginning of this stave. And all of these notes here coming up from middle C correspond to these different keys on the piano. So the first thing you're going to um, work out when you're learning how to read uh, piano music is to be able to read the treble clef and to say that, right, that's what I'm going to play with my right hand, all of the notes below, uh, above middle C. Then we're going to move on to the left hand. Now the left hand, not surprisingly, for the moment, will play all the notes below middle C, and that will be written on the bass clef. So it's this combination of being able to use both your left hand and your right hand, the bass clef and the treble clef, uh, that make the piano such an exciting instrument to play, because you can play so many different notes at the same time and make this amazing sound. Now my suggestion would be, if you're just getting started um, learning uh, how to read sheet music, head over to my site at www.learnhowtoreadsheetmusic.com. You'll find lots of free lessons and worksheets and practical activities. You can also sign up for my free uh, starter pack um, and you can start to make real progress straight away. So that's the first question, where do I start? The second question, if we put all of this together, what does typical piano music look like? Well, here we've got an example of what you'll typically see um, when you look to read uh, piano music. And you'll have two staves on top of each other. The top one is normally in treble clef, the bottom one normally in bass clef. And remember what we were saying, this treble clef here is telling you what to play with your right hand, whereas the bass clef here on the bottom stave is telling you what to play with your left hand. You'll also see other words and markings, um, and if you head over to my site again, you'll, you'll find lots of articles looking at this. This is, tells you how fast to play it, this tells you how loud to play it. You'll also might come across some numbers here. Now the numbers here, which are between 1 and 5, tell you what uh, fingering to use. Now it's really, really important when you're learning piano music to get the fingering uh, right. And here you'll see, if you see it on the, um, on the treble clef staff, um, the fingering is telling you what to play with your right hand, and on the bass clef staff, it's telling you which finger to use on your left hand. Okay, so that we had a look at what does piano music look like. So this big question, how do I learn how to read piano music quickly? Well, I've got this three-stage process um, that I think really works very effectively uh, for learning how to read piano music, and it's this. It's instruct, exercise, and play. And the way it works is the following. Um, you do, you do a video lesson or a written lesson, um, giving you lots of good content, content um, taking you through some of the, the key um, things that you need to, to learn. But then you look at some music theory um, exercises. Okay? And I've put together some, uh, some sheets to test you, um, which are both fun and challenging. Okay? I've, I've made them challenging because I really want to push you forward um, as a musician. But then thirdly, the aspect that so many people miss out 
when they're learning how to read music, and that's to perform what you've learned straight away. Um, people sometimes see learning how to read music or music theory as this separate subject, but it's not. It's got to be a, a key part of what you do when you're playing your instrument. If you can try and perform straight away what you've learned, um, then you will uh, then you will will be able to grasp it really uh, really quickly. Hope that helps. Um, head over to my site and check out what's uh, what's going on. To get a head start on learning how to read music with my proven method, go to www.learnhowtoreadsheetmusic.com and sign up for a free starter pack. You'll receive free video lessons, practical activities and music theory worksheets, helping you begin the journey of taking your musicianship to the next level.